is quite a uh, quite big so we have over 30,000 students enroll every year I mean in total and over 17 percentage of the students are studying at UWR international so that you won't be um, you won't be I mean um, experiencing or you know you know, studying at the same class and in a, in, a, in a bunch of one nationality so you'll be you'll be finding mix background people so that you'll be you'll be getting a chance to learn more about their culture uh, their way of living and uh, their way of talking and their way of you know everything that the way of thinking as well so you will be getting um, very diverse uh, um, culture in while studying at UWE and yes UWE is not in London itself it is a uh, little bit far from London, but it's not quite far. It's, it, it only takes 90 minutes from London City to travel to you know, Bristol. And the Bristol City is um, self voted at number one city in the UK by Sunday, Sunday Times. And uh, UWE is gold rated university, which means um, we deliver, I mean, consi consistently outstanding teaching and learning outcomes for our students. So. Yeah, this is what our Bristol city looks like. So this is just a couple of pictures that um, will help you understand how, um, how the city looks like and what are the things that you can do in the city. So there are quite a few number of uh, things that you can do. We also have um, you know, shopping centers, shopping malls, restaurants, pubs, um, playgrounds, and uh, and most often they, there will be a concerts happening in, uh, in, the, in the Bristol city as well. So if, if anybody is interested in singing, dancing, um, so they have, uh, we have quite a few good tie up with this kind of uh, entertainment uh, facility. So you can always uh, get in touch with student service and you can always participate in those um, areas. And as I said, we are, we, Bristol is uh, also what it is top 10 happiest city in the UK. So I have just prepared a quick uh, video so that you will be able to know what exactly Bristol city looks like. So let me just quickly play this video. So this is it. Uh, let, me, let me not just um, go more about this video. So this is what our Bristol city lo looks like. I mean, there are many, many things that you can do in while studying and living in Bristol. So I have just kept a little overview of what exactly our campuses look like and where exactly it is located. So the first campus is called City Campus, where all art and design students are studying. And the second campus is Glenside Campus. This campus itself has a history of being as in hospital. So we have designed this campus now as in health science um, uh, subjects where all the health science students are being studying at Glenside campus. And the main campus and the biggest campus is called Clinsley campus, which is just uh, 10, 10 minutes from Glenside campus. And all the campuses around are just um, 10 to 15 minutes journey. So you can always travel from one campus to another within a bus service. The bus service is running within the campus, inside the campus as well. So yeah, all the business law, engineering, and science students are being studying at Clinsley campus. Also, our pathways programs are being, are studied, has a build, separate building inside Clinsley campus. So I'll be talking more about in the next coming slides. So let me just quickly go through the Clinsley campus because it is main campus. I have just kept uh, um, the picture of how Clinsley campus looks like. Okay, this, this is exactly what the Clinsley campus looks like. So it, it is a huge campus. And um, when you see, uh, I have number is number one, two, three, four, and it goes up to 10. So there is everything that you require inside the campus. We have a student accommodation, we have library, we have all the faculties um, such as business, health science, um, technology, law. And also when you go and see in the number seven, this is our, our pathway building. If, you do not meet the direct intake requirements at UWE, then we 
we do accept students who have uh, quite a few less number who do not meet um, um, you know direct into requirement they will they can always join in through our pathway provider um, and they can always study at uwe i mean inside flinsley campus once they uh, meet the requirement of foundation or pre-masters then they can directly join or get the admission uh, at uwe and so we, we have um, a large number of course, more than we have, we have more than 600 courses at UWE. So we have divided four faculties. So first faculty is arts, creative industry and education. Uh, let's just quickly highlight a couple of uh, main courses. So there are, these are just a couple of courses which I have just listed in this slide. But if you'd like to know more about uh, courses which are not in the list, I'm, I'm sure we, we do have that courses available, but if you can just quickly go and browse uh, our UWE website, www.uwe.ac.uk, then you will get to know more about all the courses, what the courses has, what the courses offer, what are the careers, what are the, what is the cost, what is the entry requirements, and everything is, is in the website. So let me just quickly highlight most famous courses, which are, um, which is uh, very famous among South Asian students. So these are a couple of courses, BSc Homes Animation, Graphic Design, Interior Design, Product Design. So these are a couple of courses on the uh, arts and creative industry. But if you would like to, I mean, uh, go on our study on some of the courses, then please feel free to contact, I mean, uh, Dolphin so that they will be able to guide you more about in, in any, any of the courses that is not listed in this um, um, area or so these are, I have another video. I mean, I have a couple of more videos coming up with, with, with the faculties. So if you can just quickly go and look this, um, video, then you will get to know what exactly our arts and design course looks like and what the students will be actually doing while studying at this course. Uh, Mukesh, the video is not audible, I guess. Can you please increase the volume? Can you hear now? Yeah, yeah now it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's still not audible. Uh, maybe some problem with the... It wasn't audible, the, the, the previous video wasn't audible as well. So the previous video was fine. This is not audible. Let me check. Now it's fine. It seems to be disturbed disturbance in the audio it comes and then again it goes oh okay okay let's i have i have a couple of videos again so let, let's try again the uh, video so let's talk about environment and technology that the second faculty that we have at uwe so under environment and faculty uh, technology i mean there are uh, many courses but uh um, I have only again listed very few courses under architecture and building environment. So let me just quickly highlight with MSc construction project management course, which is being most popular among the students these days. And also um, this course is very demanding in the market. Once you graduate um, 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 at UWE, then you will, you will be getting chance to, um, you know, get the job opportunities in the market and, uh, and look for your, um, for your uh, whatever you would like to do in the future and also let me just highlight about BC architect course so this is also another famous course at uwe which we have uh, almost 100 percent of student satisfaction rate um, for architect um, course so that's that's very interesting and the lecturers are very um, you know experienced um, in in terms of architecture you will be getting um, you will be getting to learn with the industry experts um, so let's go and talk more about computer science and creative industry, uh, creative technology. So we do have a general course which is called BSc Computer Science as well. But we, if you, if some students would like to get 
um, you know, specific um, knowledge or in, in a specific field, then they can always choose uh, our um, uh, various range of courses, which is which I haven't listed in these slides here, but we have that courses uh, in the website available, but I have just listed a few courses here, which is basic games and technology because uh, most of the youths are very interested uh, with these courses. So if anybody is interested in games and technology, then they can they can apply at UW and study games and technology course as well. And we do have audio and music technology, which we are getting quite a few number of applications from Nepal as well uh, for this course in September intake. And uh, in under engineering design and mathematics, we do have uh, lots of courses, but let me just quickly highlight with BUC Hans Robotic course, which is getting more popular in the world these days. And uh, also we have M engineering Hans aerospace engineering with pilot study where students will be getting a chance, getting a chance to, uh, to fly an airplane and know what exactly it looks like and know more about the pilot thing so that they will be yeah, uh, they can they can put that thing in their um, um, study and um, um, you know be more knowledgeable and all. And uh, also, I should not forget of telling you that we do have our robotics lab, uh, our own robot robotic labs, where you will be getting lots of practical knowledge while studying robotics. Um, and yeah, last but not least, yeah, we do have the engineering courses. More we, we have more most of the engineering courses at UWE. And let me just quickly highlight the civil engineering and project management, MSc project management. These are the most popular courses among Nepalese students. And also these are the most uh, co popular courses at the same time. This course, well, after studying these courses, you will be getting, it's, it's quite, it's, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's quite easier to get uh, the job if you are studying, um, you know, in, 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 a, in a good way. And if you are graduated with a first class degree, then it is, it is very good. I mean, it is, you, you will be very, in, in a high chance that you will be getting a job in the market. Also, let's not uh, let's talk about MSc transfer planning. This course is mostly popular in UK and uh, as well as uh, Europe. We have lots of vacancies available on the transfer planning. If if you graduate, I mean, if you study really hard on the transfer planning, then I'm I'm sure you won't be able to. Uh, I mean, you won't be finding difficulty in terms of getting. Um, job in, uh, in, in in the UK or in, in, in any European countries. So le let me just play one this video because this video is very interesting and this is all the work that our past student had been doing and now this student had have their own uh, company. So this is a great work that our students had been doing while studying at UWE. Um, Most famous courses is for all the students around the world is business and law because we do get a large number of applications for business and law. So there are quite a few range of courses in business and law. So these are a couple of courses which I have again listed here yeah, because I could not list all the courses here. So yeah, these are most famous courses um, for these is for the students are business and event management these days as well. If somebody wants to get knowledge about marketing and plus business management, then they can. We we do have such courses. We also have MBA and we have uh, MSc courses such as MSc International Human Resource Management, Marketing International Management, and many more courses. And if somebody is interested in banking and finance or accounting and management uh, or economics. We do have wide range of courses and uh, we also offer top of degree courses where if students meet the entry requirements of um, the uh, of the university then they can they can always go and study last year at the university um, when they have that credit evaluation check and everything then we, we also offer this kind of course 
uh, where at the, at the end you will be graduating and getting a certificate of UW Bristol. Okay, and if you if any anything confused you or any if you, there is not if if you are looking for some other course and if there is not in the list then you don't have to get worried about this because we do have a large number of courses as I already said. Just quickly browse in the website. You will I'm, I'm sure you'll definitely find the courses that you are looking for because we we do offer more than 600 courses. So that that won't I, I guess that won't be any kind of problem for us to provide you the courses which you are looking for. And yeah, the last video, I, I guess the, you know, with the uh, business uh, school, I mean, uh, it, it is really important to know what, how exactly the uh, Bristol Business School looks like. I mean, where you are going to study, what we have, what are the, our infrastructures and everything. So this, this building is itself um, built very newly and we have spent millions of pounds while building this new uh, building of a business, Bristol Business School. So let's just quickly look on how, what exactly this building has and UW Bristol Business School have. Okay, this is this is the last video about uh, Bristol Business School. So let's go with the last faculty on health and applied science. So we, we have quite a few number of courses in health and applied science as well. But let me just quickly highlight with the courses that we have is nursing, um, nursing course that is mostly popular in um, Panaplay's students. And also we do have biological science, biomedical science, uh, uh, BSc and MSc. So these are the most famous courses for Nepalese students. Uh, and we are really sorry to tell you that we do not offer any doctor courses. We do not train or we do not um, um, have any doctor courses at UWE. Um, so um, we do have um, a nursing course. We do train professional courses. We do have physiotherapy, psychology, um, also paramedic. And uh, yeah, most popular course among the Nepalese students these days are biomedical science and biological science as well. And uh, this is just one lab that I have just kept a picture over here, um, which where again, we have spent millions of pounds to uh, build this lab. There are many more, many other labs uh, where students are getting practical knowledge while studying health, health, health and applied science. So let's just quickly take an um, overview of what exactly 2020, 2021 in tech looks like. Uh, let's just forget about the month because of this COVID-19. The months are not um, as you know in time, but still we are trying to um, um, you know uh, get the September intake in in time as well. But we, we are we are planning to get the students enrolled in September intake, um, but when we are trying to be a little bit flexible in the terms in in the enrollment date, um, getting uh, to the university uh, time is little bit being flexible to the all the international students. So when you apply, you, 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 you just get an offer letter and you, you make payment of cash deposit. We do require 3,000 pounds for cash deposit. And uh, once you get a cash deposit on, on Dolphin in education and their counselors will be helping you in terms of visa guidance and in terms of filling visa um, applications and everything. So they will, be there, they will be there always there to help you uh, till your last, um, I mean, until you fly and after you fly as well. If you would uh, face any kind of difficulties at, while studying at UW Bristol, you can always contact them or me. I, I'll be always there to support you uh, when there is any kind of problem or trouble or any kind of difficulties that you are facing while studying in terms of study, in terms of finding anything, you can always contact the counselor or, or you can always contact me as well for that. the same thing. And let's just quickly go on accommodation. We do offer a wide range of accommodation inside and outside campus. So Flinsley campus, as I already showed you the picture in the previous slide, we do have a large number of um, 
uh, beds or uh, let's say a large number of accommodation inside the Finsley campus. We have three, um, three apartments where the first is known as Coral Court, Stone Village and Walls Court Park. And inside Peninsula campus, this is called inside campus accommodation. And we do have out, um, I mean, off campus accommodation where if you uh, would like to study, I mean, if you'd like to stay at city campus accommodation, then that is off campus accommodation uh, that is uh, in the in the center of the city. So you, you, you we have, um, again, quite a large number of uh, buildings in while well, if, if you still wish to study off camp, I mean, stay at off campus accommodation. Yeah. So the accommodation deadline guaranteed accommodation accommodation deadline has been already closed which was um, till uh, june 25th uh, but still we are taking uh, applications for accommodation um, but we will try our level best to give our our students uh, to provide accommodation but by any chance if you if we are not being able to give you or provide you any accommodation then we will be guiding you in terms of looking for accommodation with the private providers as well and our accommodation webinar will be happening shortly in, in the month of August. So any students would like to join, please contact um, I mean, uh, Dolphin Institution, then they will be able to give the uh, link for the um, accommodation webinar, what exactly university is planning, or you can always visit the uh, UWE uh, website or UWE Nepal Facebook page. It, it, it says UWE Bristol Nepal, where you will get all the information about the University of Western England itself. And also, we have, let's talk about the main thing that what what university is looking um, uh, to the students in terms of English language and the academic academics. So these these are quite a few uh, English tests that we accept. Uh, we do accept IELTS, we do accept TOEFL, we do accept PTE, and also we are currently accepting Duolingo English as well. And the most important thing, except all these tests, is like we have our own UWE online English placement test, the University of West of England online English placement test, where you, you should not pay anything. It is completely free of cost. Um, you will be, you will be uh, uh, taking, I mean, you will be sitting at the online session or online test, like as in we are, we are, we are now doing a Zoom session. You, you, all the students will be in the Zoom itself. We'll be sending you a unique me meeting link and passport. Um, and you can join from that meeting link and you can sit in the test and you get, get the results within a week and, um, up, and then continue with whatever uh, course you are going to study. But we do have quite um, a few requirements to sit in the test. Not all the students can sit in the test and give the university test. Mm. To sit in the test, you first need to uh, get in conditional offer letter where it should say you need to meet English language requirements. Okay, so if you um, apply, I mean, to apply at UW, you don't need to give any English language test. We will, we will accept you and um, put you a condition of uh, uh, English language in the offer letter. Then you can uh, give the test uh, uh, free with free of cost at UW the online test. Okay, so this test was before, I mean, we were planning to take it um, face to face, I mean, yeah, before lockdown, but because of this all, um, all this situation, all this crisis happening all around the world, we could not manage this and we, we did this as in, we used online to develop this test and this test is happening every week, every week Wednesday. So if any students wants to sit in the test then the list should be and so, uh, then, then the uh, students or the agent you should uh, send me the list by Saturday so that I would be able to put that student for next Wednesday test. Okay, and if you are confused about any anything with the UWE um, online um, English placement test, then you can always contact uh, Dolphin counselors. Then they will be more happy to help you in in booking the test as well. So these are a couple of emails that I have put uh, from around the world that our university test for our university test. Uh, some of the pictures are from Thailand and some of the pictures are from India and Nepal itself. And uh, yeah, some of the pictures are from Vietnam. Yeah, we have this test going all around the world. And um, till today, I mean, the test has, we, we, we did, we, we started uh, taking the application from March, March itself. So we did more than uh, 1200 students test where our success rate is more than 80%, more than 80% student passed the test. So let's talk about entry requirements for Nepal. So any students, I mean, uh, we, uh, we, we, we did had uh, quite um, higher entry requirements before, but taking things into consideration, 
um, uh, this uh, for this um, year um, because of this COVID-19 and everything um, we, we take the students who who are graduated or who have 60 percentage in their um, academics then we can we can we can we can accept them and provide unconditional offer letter based upon their percentage or, or let's talk about GPA. If we talk about GPA, then we do accept um, 2.6 for undergraduate and the same thing for master's level as well. Anything below that, that comes under uh, foundation for undergraduate and pre-master's for postgraduate. So if you'd like to, um, I mean, if you do not meet the entry requirements for the um, undergraduate or master's degree, then you can always go in foundation or pre-master's and uh, yeah, we have already talked about English language in the previous slides. So let's not talk about India in this. Let's talk about the Kaplan, I mean, the pathway providers. We, we directly work with Kaplan and our all the foundation and pre-masters program are being taught by Kaplan. You, you will be, you'll be enrolling with Kaplan, but you will be studying at UW Bristol inside uh, campus, I mean, in, in, inside Flinsley campus. So once you uh, will be uh, graduating or once you pass the uh, foundation or pre-masters, then you'll be getting direct admission to at UWE. Um, and yeah, um, the Kaplan courses, um, I mean, the foundation uh, depends on uh, which level you are. It, is, it depends on um, seven months to 12 months or let's say 13 or 14 months. It, it is completely depend on which level you are. Uh, so yeah. And uh, let's talk about fees and fundings for um, undergraduate and postgraduate. Uh, most of the fees for undergraduate are 13,500. And for postgraduates, we do offer from 13,250 to 14,500. It is completely depending upon the course that we that you choose. And our MBA course is 15,750. So uh, MBA is a little bit higher than other courses. The, the, the cost range is a little bit high for MBA because uh, we, we do have um, very, um, large group, I mean, very experienced um, uh, group of lecturers uh, which are been working in, in, which are the industry expert in the UK. So they, you will be getting all the practical knowledge while studying MBA at UWE. And um, let's just not talk about um, this Chancellor Scholarship, Millennium Scholarship and Program Specific Scholarship. We, I will be talking about the scholarship that I will be giving the international students um, because I have kind of fund for Nepal and India and uh, um, based upon the students uh, requirements or based upon the student academics uh, or the overall profile of what the students has been doing till today, how the students is, we, we, I will be looking on all these criteria. I'll be looking on your applications, your statement of purpose and everything. So, and based upon that, if the students is really good, then yeah. I will be offering scholarship for them. Uh, my scholarship, I mean, the, the scholarship that I, I offer, I mean, let's, let's talk, let's say like, um, this is kind of regional scholarship. Um, it, it, it depends upon the student profile. I will, I, I, I can go maximum up to 2000 pound for one student. So it, it is, it, it depends upon the student profile, like how um, there, there are certain values that I will be following. Um, but if you still meet all those those requirements, then I can I can get I can you can you can you know you can get the chance of getting up to two thousand scholarships for the for the student. Okay. Uh, beside this scholarship, we uh, we have been um, you know um, getting um, the students engaged in the um, some kind of scholarship contest as well. We our scholarship contest has been going on uh, since the month of March. So um, this is just for the month of June, which has already expired. So let's, let's not talk about this. So there is a uh, few couple of more days remaining for the July scholarship contest. Uh, what we require for this July scholarship contest is you can, you, you can come up with any creative idea that you think can be helpful for the world or can be helpful for your environment can be helpful for you yourself or whatever it is you can come up with something creative innovative idea projects anything just write 300 word about that send it to me or send it to the email id that is provided in the screen um, just send it to us 
and we will we will be looking at those um, ideas and we'll be uh, up and we'll be giving a um, couple of students uh, one thousand pound scholarship um, um, for for if 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 the idea is really good and if we think like their idea ideas can make some difference to the world um, so yeah these are a couple of things that we are giving to the students and if you suppose you you are you have you have received two thousand scholarship then you you can still participate in this contest and gain 1000 scholarship so that your scholarship amount will be 3000 um, so yeah it is better to to participate in those kind of scholarships um, so if you would like to know more about this scholarship as well you can always go and visit the facebook page which the university has been developed for nepal itself so that you can you can um, you can get the information from the university page as well also um, the main um, you can directly contact one of the um, dolphin counselors so that they will be able to give you um, more um, information uh, you can you can visit their office and get the information from rahul and and the, and the team members so that they will be able to help you and give you more information about what exactly you need to do and how exactly you need to um, you need to work in this thing okay so and yeah this um, offer is for the students who had paid 3000 deposit which we require to issue cash and we will be giving them 300 discount which we call as health surcharge discount if the student has paid the 3000 pound deposit uh, for cash before 31st of july then we will be giving them 300 pound scholarship okay so because of the noc issue area that we are having in nepal um, you you cannot pay or make a payment of 3000 yeah we do understand that but if you had applied at UWE and um, just in case if you would like to participate in this offer uh, just because you uh, the NOC thing is not um, because you could not pay the money so you should not be behind you can you can always pay 300 pound deposit and, and you can always uh, be with this um, I can I can provide you 300 discount um, at, the, at the end of the payment so yeah that is completely fine with Nepal students so with this, we have come up with the end of this presentation. So this, this has, a, here I have some couple of uh, link um, for you. So if you have a time, when you, whenever you have time, just go and browse this link so that you will be able to know more about Bristol City, what, what Bristol has, what the university is doing to the students, or how university is planning to, um, um, you know, take the intake um, uh, for September and the January itself, and what the university has to the international students. Um, what 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 are you what will you be getting while studying at UWE and many more webinars are being happening by UWE so you'll be also getting to learn more uh, information from university itself so please go whenever you have time go and visit this website so that you will get to know more about the uh, Bristol city plus university okay this okay with this balloon we have come to the end of this presentation so now we'll be taking any questions if we, if they student have, and I'll hand over to Rahul now. Yeah, thank you so much Mugesh for that presentation. It was really, really informative. I'm sure the students got to know more about UWA Bristol. So before we look, uh, move forward and take the questions from the student, may I request you to please uh, increase the volume of your mic because I'm not able to hear you clearly. Oh, okay. That's my highest volume. Okay, I hope. Um, Are you able to maximize the volume of a laptop or computer? Yeah, that, that's, that's my highest volume. I mean, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Well, okay, I, so I think, I think I need to increase my voice then. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll just take the questions. There are a few questions in the chat box. So we'll start uh, with the questions. Uh, are you able to see the question from. Right. So there's a question from Sunita Pordel. She's asking, she has completed her bachelor's and want to pursue master's in biotechnology. So is there any course uh, related to biotechnology in UWE? We don't have biotech course uh, at UWE, I'm afraid, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what, what can be the alternative course to biotechnology? If you have done bachelor's, then you can always go for biomedical science, or if you are interested in uh, MSc Biological Science, then we do have MSc Biomedical Science and Biological Science subjects. So um, if, if that course is good for you, then please uh, go and look in the website. We have all the details of biomedical science, what you need to 
um, what you need to have what, what, to meet the interview requirements and how exactly, what exactly you will be studying, what are the course modules, what are the career plans, I mean, what are the careers that you would, you would be getting while after studying. So there are, there are all the details that you require in the website itself. So if you can just um, uh, spare some time and just visit uh, the website itself and look for a couple of courses that you you think it is interested or you think you you would like to st study, then it would be more helpful, I guess. Yeah. Right. Okay. So there's another question from KM. Uh, he says he's completed three years degree in hospitality and tourism from a Swiss board. So can he enroll for a master's? He studied, he completed three years in tourism from Swiss board. Can I? Yes, you can enroll uh, for a master's degree. Uh, as I said, we and uh, we do not have any kind of hospitality related, I mean, hospitality specialist course. But what we can have in our master's degree is like event business and event management course. But if you would like to study or if you'd like to a little bit to get experience in um, in, in event management or business related field, then you can always um, apply at UWE with that uh, bachelor's, three years bachelor's degree. We do accept that. We also need to, we also need to see your, I mean, academic percentage and the modules that you have studied in three years. So that we will be, once you, once you get the documents uh, with the, uh, you can, you can always send the document to Raul, then um, he will be forwarding it to me. Then we, we will, we will be looking at um, uh, your profile if you, can uh, really uh, meet the interview requirement for UWE. Right. Uh, how about bachelor's degree in nursing? So is there any degree related to nursing from UWE Bristol and what are the requirements and tuition fee? We do have a nursing related course. Uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, this is the most famous course or the most, uh, most of the Nepalese and Indian or let's say South Asian uh, students are been getting very interested uh, with these nursing courses. So we do have um, BSc uh, adult nursing um, at UWE. To meet the interview requirement, you do need to have um, uh, good academics, which we require 65% of academics um, in nursing. And you need to meet the IELTS requirements um, uh, of uh, seven in each band, or let's say 6.5 in reading, or minimum 6.5 in reading, and uh, overall of seven in each band. But um, do not get worried, like um, just few weeks back, we have a good news for these old students. If you, if you are not being able to do IELTS examination, um, then you can always go and, um, I mean, come and take uh, the UWE English test so that you will get to know what your English level is and if you can really get into the courses or not. So is, it, is it a pre-registration nursing or a post-registration nursing? Um, that's that's, uh, that's post, post nursing. So it's a post-registration nursing course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It's a pre-registration or post. It's a post-registration. Yeah, just let me just quickly check it, okay? Yeah, that's post registration nursing. Yeah. Okay. Students, yeah, students can be can, can work as uh, I mean, yeah, um, after after they after they um, graduate, I mean, after they graduate from UWE at nursing, then then they can they can they can directly work with the uh, in the in the health sector um, at you uh, in, in any kind of job I mean um, in, in, in a they don't they don't have to write an entrance examination to uh, register for a nurse uh, and to work with the NHS in the UK yeah I mean yeah. Yeah, you, you, I mean, it says like after you, after you graduate from there, you could go into a specialist position in nurse hospitals and in not health care sectors and work as a community nurse or in the GP, um, GP sector, which is um, um, very famous in, 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 in UK. Mm. Um, so 
that you can direct your big health sector um, job. Okay. Uh, one question from Binita. Uh, she's asking for a double master's. Binita, can you just unmute yourself and be, be specific on the double master's? In what subject are you looking to do double master's? Uh, yes, actually, I will complete my MBS uh, master's in business studies. So I want to try uh, MBA first year. So what is the possibility for that? So you said you, you have completed MBS. Right, and you're yes, going to do yes. MBA. And uh, do you have any kind of work experience um, after you did MBS? Uh, not uh, such in uh, business, like in business, I don't have such uh, experience in that. When did you complete your bachelor's degree? Sorry? When did you, when did you complete your bachelor's degree? Yes. Yes, which year did you complete your bachelor's degree, Benita? Okay, my uh, bachelor's degree, I completed uh, it is in South and actually I forgot it. <laughs> uh, so I just completed my master's here. Uh, it's, uh, I'm batch of 2017, so just before the transition, I completed it. So 2015, 2015, you completed MBS, right? Yeah, so now I've just completed my MBA and my bachelor's degree I've completed in 2016. So do you have any kind of, I mean, uh, because why, why I'm asking the, uh, when, you, when you completed the, uh, your bachelor's degree, do you have any kind of work experience after bachelor's degree as well? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm teaching, yeah, I'm a teacher and I don't know if the, my experience will match my course or not, I don't know, but I have an experience of teaching. So you have experience in the MBA. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. What you can do is yeah for MBA for MBA course you do accept um students from engineering. Sorry, uh, I could not hear your voice properly. So could you please? Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but not so clearly. Uh, I can hear all of you, but okay. I will be talking a little bit louder. Uh, what, what happens with MBA course is uh, uh, beneath, huh? We require two years of work experience for MBA course, okay? So because you have done your, uh, you have completed your uh, MBAs recently and you have completed your BBS in 2016, um, I'm sure you have, I mean, yeah, you, you said you have uh, work experience of teaching. So if you can provide those work experience and, uh, work, and why you would like to, I mean, a, a good personal statement, um, of uh, why, why you want to choose MBA course, then I think we can consider um, you in, in, um, in MBA course. Yeah, but, but okay, so as, as uh, my education background is business study, so uh, does this uh, teaching experience work for that? I mean, yeah, you, once you, if, if you can just um, send us your academics and the, uh, and the teaching experience, I mean, yeah, it should work. I mean, yeah, it should work um, by your teaching experience as well because you have been teaching um, for a long time. And now, I mean, yeah, if you would like to, um, you know, like. Uh, uh, okay, sorry to interrupt you in between, but you are not audible. Uh, we're having difficulty to hear you. Why? Hmm. I don't know what's happening. Let me just. Can you hear uh, me now? Minda, can you hear me? Yeah, I, yes, I, yes, can, yes. I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear us, but we are also able to hear you, but not properly. Your uh, voice is yes, uh, low. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, but sometimes uh, your voice is not that much audible so that I can't understand what are you saying, actually. Okay. There has to be some problem with the microphone, I guess. Maybe. Uh, Binita, in the meanwhile, yes, you can apply for the double masters. There's no problem with that. We can check with the MBA and I can talk in case later on about the MBA and uh, you have also written the MBA Global. Uh, can you just yeah. drop in your documents, email documents uh, to our uh, email address and we'll just process for it off later, right, Mukesh? 
Yeah, yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, you, you can just um, send all your academics and your experience certificate. Um, then I mean, yeah, we 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 also need to look on your academics. So um, what what actually what, what actually you have uh, been studying at uh, MBS, and uh, we would be able to offer you on the place. Right. So the after this session, we shall contact you, and I'll give you the email address, and we'll just process with the documents. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. We'll move to okay. another question. Yes, yes, Mukes. Okay. Uh, there's a question about a course. Do you have any ethical hacking course available in UW Bristol? Okay, we do not have such course, but we do have data science, um, cyber security. Okay, you you do have cyber security. We have cyber security. Uh, so okay, Ramesh want to know about cyber security. Ramesh, can you please unmute yourself and ask Mukes about cyber security? Ramesh, can you hear us? Okay, we'll move to another question. Uh, what about the eligibility about health science? Is there any course on health science? Uh, we we do not have much courses on health science. Um, yeah, as I said, you can you can only go for um, bio. Um, I mean, paramedics. What about science. public health? Public health. We do have public health, but. Right. Uh, um, yeah, the requirements for public health is same as uh, all the normal courses. Um, mm. You for for as well for English requirement as well. You can you can only uh, we will we will be accepting um, six point five overall of um, ILTS uh, mm. for public health. Yeah. Okay, uh, Sanjeev wants about engineering courses for diploma clear students. Uh, I'm assuming diploma clear students means after diploma. So maybe for bachelor's top up or maybe for masters, Sanjeev, can you please unmute yourself and ask question directly to Mukesh about uh, engineering and know us more about your diploma, what you have done and study. Sanjeev, can you hear us? I'm not sure if he's able to hear us, but uh, I'll just uh, ask from my side. So is there any top up course available for the engineering students? Yeah, for engineering course, uh, we we do not have um, top up course. Um, for 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 business, we have top up course. Um, but yeah, uh, what what we can do is, in, if the students has done the um, I mean three years diploma course, then um, they can they can submit their application and they can submit their um their academics and we will be looking on uh, each modules what they have studied in those three years then we can place them for second year or year two for in the bachelors yeah for, for in the bachelors yeah and what about the level six diploma can they apply for the masters um yeah it it it, it, it completely depends upon what modules they are studying okay we need to discuss it with the program leader see what happened um, recently is um, um the degree that um uh, for uh, biomedical science the degree that the uh, Pokhara University offer, um, um, the, the complete bachelor's degree uh, that we cannot accept them for MSc Biomedical Science because there are few courses missing in from Pokhara University a degree. This is the recent case that I have just um, um, got it. So that's Even bachelor's from Pokhara University is not accepted for directly master's. Bachelor's in Biomedical Science for Pokhara, from Pokhara University is been not not accepted by our university for a masters in biomedical science so you know um, universities and academic program leaders will be looking on specific modules what they have studied so it it will be much better if you can just send in your transcript so that we will be we will be looking on those transcript those modules what you have studied and what is the credit that you have studied then we'll be will be able to tell you if we can actually accept it or which level you we can accept you so that, uh, sometimes it can be you 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 can be a little bit you can you can still go on a little bit higher level than you you have been even thinking it or sometimes you know it, it can happen like um, the popra university ms ambassadors in biomedical science so this is the recent case that i have just um, got it okay 
There's a question from Hem Acharya. He's asking uh, if he can apply for BSc nursing as he has done his diploma in medicine um, and the ILTS of 6.5. I'm trying to unmute him, but he's not able to. Him, can you please unmute yourself and ask question more properly to Mukesh? Yes, sir. Yes, him, yes. please carry on. Yes, sir. It's me. Mother, I have completed general in medicine with the scoring of 85%. And similarly, in ILTS, I, I am scoring, scoring in 6.5. May I apply for the bachelor in nursing? You have uh, scored uh, 6.5 in each, each yes. band? IELTS. Do you have 6.5 maintained in each band in your ILTS? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. See, uh, him. Um, I mean, um, uh, with your query, I mean, I cannot really just say um, um, you you can be eligible for your nursing because I need to see which models, as I already said, which models you have been studying, and those models will um, will need to. I mean, for your applications, um, frankly, um, the program leader needs to approve it. Okay. If program leader thinks like, okay, you can uh, study, um, you, 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 you can um, cope up with the uh, bachelor's in nursing, then they will be um, accepting you. It is, it is some, sometimes like we have, we, we, our program leaders, our, um, the academics team are very specific on something. So they would be the right person. So if you can just share your profile with us or share your profile with Travel, then he will be forwarding it to us. Then I will be straight away forwarding it to the, um, to the uh, program leader. Then he will be, or she will be able to um, tell you exactly what the, well, which level you are fit in, in you know, in health, um, in, in even, even in nursing course, okay? Or which, which is the course that you can study at UWE, they will be guiding you in, in details. Um, yeah, because your, your, your profile looks a um, little bit different and it needs to be evaluated by the program leader itself. Okay, sir, uh, thank you. Uh, one question from Sunita Powdell. She's asking, she has done four years bachelor's in chemistry from TU, Sibirun University. Can she get enrolled in master's in biomedical science? I'm sure, yes. Okay, she has done four years for from bachelor's degree. Yeah, if if yeah, as I said, biomedical science, MSc biomedical science is quite um, a specific subject. So our program leader are looking for some uh, some specific subject that you really need to be studying at in your bachelor's degree. So if um, if you can just quickly send in your academics uh, transcript, then we would be able to um, you know uh, tell you or uh, you know, do you really fit in the subjects. Or not yeah so sunita can you hear us you can just send on your transcripts and your uh, other uh, extra certificates and then we just apply and we'll see if you can get accepted for biomedical science uh, so again a question on scholarship so is it, is the 2000 pounds the maximum scholarship a student can get or we can increase on the merit basis if the student has um, just got division excellent percentage uh, in his bachelor's or Plus two. For, the, for this for this September intake, all the scholarships have been closed now. Uh, now the only scholarship available for international student is the original scholarship, which I have uh, some some funds from university, which I will be giving. And I have some restriction in giving the scholarship as well because I need to follow the protocol, and I need to follow the steps like. There, there should be some kind of quality, or there should be some kind of profile that uh, student need to meet. Um, such as um, the students um, below 70 percentage, I, I cannot I cannot really uh, offer any kind of scholarship below 70 percentage. Okay, so if students has um, 70 percentage in the academic, then please let me know while while you are applying for um, at UW. Just apply it, then we we will be working on a uh, scholarship. Which how many how much scholarship we'll be getting? The maximum amount of scholarship that we will be getting is 2000 GBP. And, but we can increase that based on the percentage of the student, right? We can yeah, push towards it, maybe 3,000 GBP. Yeah, it's, it's not like always, I mean, yeah, if the student is really brilliant and if the student has been scoring first class, uh, um, you know, then then we, 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 can, we can definitely look into the scholarship amount. That, that oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll just left with a few uh, couple of minutes. Uh, guys, please come up with a question. Mukesh will be here for maybe another two to three minutes and... Uh, 
You can also unmute yourself, raise your hand, get one-to-one -one counseling with Mukesh since he is here to answer all your questions. He's been very, very kind to us. Please unmute yourself, raise your hand, ask a question. Alternatively, you can just drop in your question to the chat box. We'll take your question, pass it to Mukesh. Hello. Yes, Sagar. Uh, hi, first of all. Uh, so uh, I'm actually studying ACCA. Okay. And uh, I've completed my skills level. Okay. So there were there is uh, the MSc in accountancy and uh, the route after completing skills level. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, we do. We do have. Um, let me just quickly check how many, how many, you know, the papers that we waive uh, for accounting and finance. If you can actually, uh, let me open the sheet. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going. What you can do is, you know, um, there are a few uh, courses. I mean, um, um, there are. Few modules that we will be waiving or you can you you can you know uh, if you have been studying SCCA then we can accept you for MSc accounting and finance or MSc accounting or in, um, banking banking and finance or this kind of related subject yeah we do have banking and finance accounting and finance but if you can quickly send in your academic transcript then we will be able to help you and tell you exact information what um, you know what 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 you need to do or what how we need to do it Shagar, but yeah, I'm I'm sure you can you you can um, you can fit in uh, MSc accounting and finance. Subject. So I have uh, out of thirteen ACC papers, I've completed uh, nine. Nine. So up right. to skills level, yeah. And transcript by transcript, you mean ACC transcript or I mean, a previous? Or whatever, whatever the, the results certificates, whatever you have. I mean, whatever you 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 would get. Up to date uh, qualification. Uh, yeah, once you pass. Okay. So that. Uh -huh. I mean, Shagar, you can send in your documents. I've dropped the email address. If you can see in the chat box, uk at the dolphineducation.com.np. Please just mail your documents and I'll let you know um, after discussing with Mukesh, are you eligible for the MSA accounting, right? Uh, okay. Okay. And also, oh. if uh, there are any other programs uh, uh, apart from MSA in accountants and finance, uh, please let me know. So, you, right? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you are from accounting background. Now, uh, if, if you'd like to study, I mean, uh, um, risk management and insurance as well, yeah. you, you, you can, um, you know, you, you, can, you can apply for the courses as well. But if you are interested in finance, uh, FinTech, the, which is our completely new course, Financial Technology, this is our new course at UWE. So um, you, can, you can apply that course as well. What, what I suggest, Saga, to you today is, uh, let me just uh, put the uh, um, university website here so that it will be much easier for all the students to go and visit uh, at you, uh, the website and uh, get, the, get the right course that you will be looking for, okay? Okay. Okay, just, just go and visit this website. Um, you, will, you will find a lot of courses available. And uh, once you find your course, then you can discuss with Rahul and Rahul will be sending me uh, all the documents, then we will be working um, on your uh, profile. Sure. And also, will there be any problem from Nepal government because of ACC if we are eligible for MSc? Uh, but uh, since we don't have the academic bachelors, so. Okay, uh, Rahul will be the best person to help you in this. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure not because obviously, if you are, uh, if you get the offer letter from UWE Bristol, you'll be able to get the NOC and you will be able to uh, proceed for the interview from VFS. So I don't think so. You will be with any problem since we have done ACC and it's uh, directly uh, qualified for the masters or even bachelors. You have done any less paper, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh, there, uh, there shall be no problem. Yeah, the main problem. Uh, there will be no any problem because of lack no, of no. academic. Okay. No, no, no. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will uh, email you my transcript. Yeah, okay. So, Mukesh, uh, I guess uh, we'll just wrap up for today. It was really, really nice having you. Uh, you were really, really kind to students for answering all the questions. I'm sure we'll get some applications and just forward you, right? Yeah, 
Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, let's be in contact in the future and I'll just send you the application and we'll let you know if I have any confusion with related to any course of the requirements, right? Definitely, definitely, Rahul. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, organizing this session with all these lovely students. And I hope, I mean, I, I, I am able to, I mean, uh, uh, you know, give some information about uh, the intakes and everything, what, what the university is looking for. And if there's any more information, please contact Rahul. So he will be the, he will be your first person to, um, you know, to be in touch and we'll be discussing more in, in coming days. Um, let's, let's say uh, meeting face to face or something. Yeah. And all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. So all right. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay,